This barbecue chicken fried rice is packed with protein, low carb, comes together in one pan, and it's a great way to use that bag of frozen cauliflower rice in your freezer. To make it, you'll need a pound of diced chicken breast, frozen cauliflower rice, eggs, a little Japanese barbecue sauce or barbecue sauce and soy sauce combo, and a little barbecue rub. As you can see here, I like to use kitchen shears to dice my chicken breast, but a classic cutting board and knife works perfectly fine. Just saves a little dishwashing. For a barbecue rub, I use a homemade rub, but you could use any barbecue rub here. This one is a little bit of dark brown sugar, dry mustard, smoked paprika, garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin. Uh, but again, any barbecue rub will work here. Mix that up, we'll sprinkle that over the chicken. And then if you can, let this hang out at room temperature for maybe even just 10 to 20 minutes. Let that seasoning really melt in. Uh, it'll give you a better overall product once you're ready to cook. Now for the fun part, you can use a skillet. A wok is always great for fried rice, but a skillet works fine. Make sure it's really hot before the oil goes in. We're gonna use about a tablespoon of olive oil. We'll add the chicken carefully and then spread this out to get as much surface area as possible. With the brown sugar in the barbecue rub, this is gonna brown pretty quickly and the chicken will cook within a two to three minutes. I mean, it's not gonna take long. You can see a few of my pieces maybe got a little too brown, but excuse me for filming. So once that's cooked, once the chicken is 165 internally, check a few pieces, especially bigger pieces. Once that's fully cooked, transfer to a bowl and the skillet will go back on the heat. Then we'll add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Carefully add in that frozen cauliflower rice. Kind of shake it, stir it around, let it get coated in the oil. And then we'll cover this, let it hang out for about five minutes. Once the rice is completely thawed, and you start to get some little crispy golden brown bits on the bottom, give everything a stir and then create a center well. So just push everything to the sides, give yourself some space to scramble two eggs in the center. If you'd rather push everything to one side and use the other half of the skillet, that's fine too. This is gonna sound a little hypocritical because I just poured those from a bowl, but I'll typically crack these straight in the pan but couldn't handle the shame of if I messed that up on camera. Uh, if you'd rather put them in a bowl like that, whisk them together, that's totally fine. You know, you just want to get these in the pan, get them scrambled. You can get them as browned as you want, as soft scrambled as you want. Uh, no need to stress too much over these eggs. You can even leave the eggs out. But once you've got them cooked, scrambled, however you like, we're going to just mix that in with our rice. And then it's time for the real money maker, the sauce. So this is two tablespoons of Bakken's Japanese barbecue sauce, which I love. Going off the ingredient list, I'm gonna say it's a blend of a tomato-based barbecue sauce with soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, and mirin. If you wanted to take a stab at making your own, you can use really any barbecue sauce or just soy sauce. Just get something in here. With only two tablespoons, you don't wanna to go totally crazy, so don't like, throw in a fourth cup of barbecue sauce here, then you're gonna end up with some kind of weird pasta dish. You can see the chicken is gonna provide a ton of flavor from that barbecue rub and even some juices uh, coming from the chicken. So turn off the heat. The chicken's already cooked at this point. It's been resting. No need to reheat or recook here. This is a pretty fast recipe. You'll just wanna get it back in the pan together, mix everything together, and then we'll plate it and we'll garnish with scallions or chives like I did here, some toasted sesame seeds and black sesame seeds, a little chili oil or a chili garlic crisp is what I used here. I'm obsessed with the S&B chili crisp. And you can even hit it with a little drizzle of the Japanese barbecue sauce if you have it. Can't go wrong with this. Hope you enjoy.